Okay, here we have the bottom half of a heat pump dryer. And as you can see, there was a lot of dust all through this machine. It had been used quite heavily, but poorly maintained. And this machine had stopped working. Although the compressor is good and the gas levels in it are good, the airflow is unable to work. You only need to look at the actual fins that are on the evaporator here. The air that comes down through the filter into this chamber to pass through the evaporator and then the condenser, all these fins are totally blocked up. And it's not just at the front of the machine, this dust has traveled all the way through the evaporator and onto the condensing unit as well. Now, the other thing I want to point out while we're down here is the water that drips down off the actual fins and goes down to the pump has to go through a collection system. And if I lift this filter out, which goes to the pump system, and remember the dust is absolutely dry at the moment, but I can promise you all the way through this evaporator and condenser, the bottom of the machine is clogged up with sludge and dust, which is built up over the years due to the lack of maintenance. Now I've already undone the screws and there are multiple screws on these units and some of them are hidden. As you can see here, the dust has got through all the way even on the condenser at the back here, there is fluff everywhere and this needs to be flushed out for it to work efficiently again. The biggest problem is the access. I mean, I have to actually undo the compressor, take off all the bolts, and then carefully lift this whole unit out just to be able to clean it. And you are talking a two to three hour job to do it correctly. And it is just really, really difficult on all heat pump tumble dryers to be able to clean the evaporator and the condenser. 